Hello everybody, welcome back to my hangar. This is Mordok, and as you can see, I don't have a retaliator sitting in front of me. That ship is the Constellation Aquila. Something even more fun that you might notice is it seems to be missing something. Right here in this little compartment. Because that is the cradle for the P-52 Merlin, which is now flyable, and I have one. Well, actually, technically I have two. One that comes with this, and one that I have over in that other side over there, which I'll show you guys in a little bit. But the reason I don't have the Retaliator or the Genesis Star Lantern, which you guys might, you guys probably don't know that I had them. Oh, the Genesis was never in, was never hangar ready, at least not while I had it. And while it was a fun idea. I just couldn't justify keeping it. But anyway, so let's see if anything has changed inside the Connie, other than that weird little glitch there. And the black seat. That one goes down. The other one goes... Oh wait, no. That one goes up. The one down there goes down. But yeah. I haven't tried this because I don't know if I can actually use it or not. Let's find out, I guess. Doesn't look like it. Nope. I... Uh, what am I doing? Okay. Nope. Can't do anything with it. And we can use these. That one looks a little weird because of the textures, but it does work. Um, now, this used to default to being up. Now it doesn't. Matter of fact, I think it's not actually usable in terms of other than perhaps sitting down and I'm not even sure if that'll work because I'm standing on the bench and not much is going on so look the shower has a light hey I remembered <laughs> amazing and it's an external light it's like is this occupied or not then there's the somewhat slightly scary toilet arrangement. Look, I'm a vampire who can see outside the ship through the not really intended to be a window thing. But, yeah. So yeah, oops. I just wanted to lift the lid, never mind. <laughs> what happened to privacy? So you go to, to, to do your business and you can't close the thing from the inside where you're sitting. That doesn't make sense. Wait, what? I, I think we're a little off-center here. <laughs> Let me up. Okay. That doesn't work like that, CIG. Come on, guys. Parts go over the hole, not like... It's not a chair, it's a toilet. There's a difference. Come on. Wait. No, really, close. Come on. Thank you. Makes you kind of nervous for your feet. I mean, if you think about it. <laughs> anyway, boy, does that look dingy or what? I mean, look at that. Looks like this has just seen a lot of use. I mean, holy cr uh, stuff. <laughs> Yeah, anyway. Uh, yeah, so, wow, that, that, I'm just, wait a minute. Weren't there beds there at one point? They, what? Okay, wait a minute, what? This is, um, so, yes, and, um Okay, so what's this about? I suspect that that is so that you can eject the pods. But is it supposed to be extended by default? That's kind of strange. I get it. It's interesting. But, one, I think it's actually too complex, and two, 
Wow, it's seen some use. How many accidents have they had? Anyway, so... Oh, strange airlock door. And some kind of manual release or something for something, I think. And... Door. And unfortunately we can't open this for the to what would be the Merlin down there, if it were, you know, still down there. But, yeah. Look at how smooth that, lead, that moves. I mean, that is nice. Nice and quiet and smooth. Okay, that is nice. Hey, look at that. Wait a minute. Oh, well, what do you know? Nice. You know, there's one thing about this ship that has always thrown me off a little bit. Okay, I know all the I know most of the weight's supposed to be in the back, but still. Don't you think that's an awfully long distance to have unsupported? I mean that's half the length of the ship right there. Admittedly it's really lightweight compared to that end, but I don't know. I mean I would find that a little you know, disconcerting. Some kind of landing gear in front would be a good thing just for the sake of if it's on heavy, uneven terrain, it'll keep the nose up off of the ground. You know, give it a high compression landing gear type of scenario or something, but not just, oh look, let's levitate. Or, you know, something to that effect. So, yeah, just a thought. Smoothly, that thing just travels up and it locks into place. Nice. Anyway, so figure out where I'm going here. And we'll just go straight to the Merlin. You guys, I'm sure, are familiar with the 315 and the Gladius. So, and by now you're probably pretty familiar with the Merlin. But I gotta say, I mean, is that like a space miniature limo type thing? Not even a limo, more of a... Oh... How about a... A Mustang. Or perhaps a... A Cobra. Because it has a kind of a snake-like front end. You know, it has that faintly reptilian look to it. No scales, obviously, but, you know, kind of a va vaguely reptilian feel to it. And that's not meant to be an insult, that's actually kind of, you know, interesting and cool and silver and black and all that. I wonder if that does anything. Somebody give me a hex-headed screwdriver. I want to mess with this. <laughs> anyway, all kinds of vents and intakes and things. I mean, just everywhere. I mean, even in places they don't really make a lot of sense to be. I guess it's for the sake of cooling, but that seems a little... I don't know. The airflow around that, if it were in an atmosphere, would be really, really chaotic through here. I mean, wow. Really chaotic. Highly turbulent. So, I don't know. That's interesting. These are the uh, forward RCS thrusters. Uh, up, down, left, right. the rear, two of the rear RCS thrusters, and I'm kind of wondering where the top and bottom ones are here. I want to get up on top of it and look down, but I don't see that happening. Oh, what's this? That is, okay, that's, that's the, that's an underlying, that's an underside RCS thruster, but it's in a strange place. Well, actually, no, it's not. It makes, it makes reasonable sense. Okay. Why 
can't I jump? Oh, there, there it goes. Maybe I think I might have been under the gun barrel. And it looks like there's a topside RCS thruster on the upper wing. So, that's good. And there may be... Let me up. Come on. Thank you. Oh, cool. Okay, there's one in the middle on the back. Interesting. And boy, this is moving strangely. But look at... Wow, look at that. <laughs> so... <laughs> Let's get a really good look. That almost looks like an engine block. <laughs> Except it's not. It's the cannon barrel, or the, the, the drive for the cannon barrel and the mechanism. And my hand. And stuff. And... Wait, wait, wait. Something PSI max. 6500 PSI max. That's a lot of pressure. But look at that. That's just really cool. So yeah. Has a f has a muscle car feel to it. That's what it has. I mean, it's, it really does. It feels like a. It's like the space equivalent of a muscle car. <laughs> so yeah, and off we go. So there are thrusters for every direction, but there aren't enough to account for, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We need two more thrusters. So there's four here, and there's two here, two there, two top and bottom, two left and right. So let's see, four, eight, twelve. Okay, yeah, we've got them all. So four in the back, one, two, three, top, bottom, left, right. Four in the middle, mostly for roll, because there are no fore aft. So top wing, bottom wing on each side, and then four in the front, all in the nose. You know, top, bottom, left, right. So it's going to have more control up and down than in any other direction because it has more thrusters in those directions. It has one four in the top, one, one in the front top, one in the rear top, and two in the top on, in the middle of each wing. So that's eight top and bottom, and two on each side, left and right, which also comes out to 12 thrusters, so yeah. When I say two on each side, I mean one four, one aft on each side for left and right thrust. Which means you have less side to side control than you do roll and vertical up and down uh, belly to roof movement. So, yeah. Anyway, so. Z movement, you might say. Yeah, as we use proper terms. Then there's going forward. I've noticed one thing. I don't think there are any thrusters for reverse on this thing. So technically, based on what I'm seeing, just by counting the thrusters and placing, figuring out where they're at, this has no reverse thrusters at all. So technically, you should have to flip around and burn your your main engines to slow down. But since this is a game, we don't have to do that. We have something called a space brake if we really need it, which doesn't make any sense, but whatever. Anyway, so, yeah. CIG, that's a little oversight on your part. There is no reverse thrust, unless that's what these things are, which and they don't look anything like three RCS thrusters. Let me switch viewpoints here. 
Those are not RCS thrusters. They are behind glass. Not very functional for that. So, yeah. And, you know, anyway. So, no reverse thrust at all. Unless these can be ver can be vectored, which I doubt. And having the nose vectored is really not... doesn't make a lot of sense. None of these looks like they're vector. None of these look like they are vectorable. So, no. But anyway, enough of that geeky stuff. So let's see what we can do. Now, I don't really need to do this the hard way. So what I'll do is I'll just stand right here and I'll stare at the horn. Uh, almost at the hornet. <laughs> Does kind of look like a hornet, kind of. But, anyway, <clears throat> I'm going to take it to space and see how she does. And since I don't remember the, key the keystrokes for switching the recording on and off, I'll just have you guys sit through it. It won't take long. <laughs> anyway. Oh, by the way, that thing... May as well just not exist. Aurora. Ugh, piece of junk. <sighs> By the way, it's really easy to burn through the fuel in the in the uh, Merlin. So, if you're gonna go into a fire in, 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 into a heavy combat, try to do it in such a way that you don't burn through your fuel. Otherwise. Uh, if you need emergency thrust for some something, you're not going to have it. So try to conserve on your boost fuel. I'll show you why here in a few minutes. Or a few seconds. So, anyway. So as you can see, the fuel quantity is at 100%. You know, or 100 units, whatever. But it's full. So, there's our guns. Gotta test them. Look, shells. Now we need is cheese. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm sorry. Anyway, so. Up and down, i.e. Z, G's. It maxes out around 10. Now, if I use boost, it maxes out around 20. If, suffice to say, that's enough for you to black or red out. You know, I mean, more than enough, actually. And if you're climbing on doing so, it's wrong. You could very easily kill yourself, but then, you know, you guys know that since you already played the game, right? So, anyway, kind of a low rate of fire, but not bad. Reasonably high rate of fire, but again, you know, not too bad. So, so here's this. So, 10 Gs. Just under 10 Gs, just start to black out. Now that's with comp stab off. By the way, we're going to pull out of a red out. Side slip comes out to about six to seven G's. Side slip, and you can max out at ten without boost. So boost 
allows you to double your maneuverability, but at the price of using all your boost fuel. I'll show you here in a second. Once I get to a clearer area, I'll go over by the, the thing there. Terraformer type. Oops. It takes a long time to slow down without boost. See, we just stopped. So that was several seconds of not being able to stop. So, if you're flying around and running, it might be wise to just flip around and use your main engines to slow you down. Cut power, flip. Resume power. Anyway, there's really not a lot else that I can say or show you. I mean, I, I can land on that thing over there. Hot landing mode activated. I guess. Auto land activated. I'll use the mouse for this because. Request to land granted. Now I've just got to move around here. to do this. It's floating. Uh, okay, CIG, there's something you can work on. Because when parts get floaty like that, that looks really weird. It breaks immersion and all that good stuff. But. <laughs> I broke it. Oh well. It had to happen. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway. Nice little ship. As long as you're careful with how you use fuel, you should be fine. And be careful with the Gatling gun's ammo, because you only, I don't think you get a reload. So, go out, kill what you need to kill, dock up with the ship again. It's a parasite fighter for a reason, aka a snub fighter. So, yep. With that in mind, enjoy your ship, have fun with it. It's definitely a nice flyer, with certain, ca with certain uh, restrictions. Its reverse is practically non-existent, for obvious reasons, because uh, that I pointed out earlier. No reverse thrusters. So, technically, it should just keep going. But, you know, there's where we're... One of those incidents is where we're going to suspend disbelief. And just, you know, accept it, I guess. Anyway, so... I guess that's it for now. See you in the black. <laughs>